Welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. My name is Baz, and in this series we'll go over how to set up and use existing plugins. These videos will be for both official and unofficial plugins, so please like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date. This particular video will show how to import and set up a plugin into your project. If you already know how to do this, feel free to jump ahead to the plugin video of your choice. Alright, so by now you know Pixel Game Maker MV offers a lot of options by default, but for options that aren't available, a plugin can be developed and then added to your project. While inside your project, you'll see a plugins tab located at the top right. In this tab, we can import plugins and manage their parameters. Let's go ahead and add an official plugin. Right click in the list area and select add official plugin. These are the current official plugins to choose from. Let's select the show message plugin. After the plugin is added, you will notice two columns appear. Let's take a look at both of these. The left column contains a brief description from the creator. It also contains the parameters. Parameters are where you set up the plugin for your project. In this case, there's one parameter to set before using it. So I'll set it to use an image I added earlier. The right column over here contains the preview and help. The preview is what you will see when you go to use this plugin. You can view and change the settings here, but just note none of them will save. This is a preview only. The help section will display helpful information about using the plugin if any is provided. This one simply says the description of the plugin. Now let's use this plugin. Go to objects and select the state you want the plugin to run inside. Click Add Runtime Action, and over at the top right, you will see a Plugins tab. We can select the Show Message one that we just added. Now we can adjust the settings that we previewed earlier. After the settings are complete, we can now play test. And there we have it. So that does it for importing and using plugins. It's easy to install and use them once you understand the basics. From here on out, these videos will be about currently available plugins, so I hope this helped. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or drop a comment below, and I'll see you at the next video.